Hello friends, it's me, and today we're going to be learning some survival hacks. If you drink randomly smells or taste anything like cinnamon, don't drink it. What if I ordered a drink with cinnamon? Am I just not allowed to drink it? Don't drink it. Commonly used cover up the scent of poison. So if your drink that does not have cinnamon smells like cinnamon, that's the cover up the smell of poison. Okay, do not drink non-cinnamon cinnamon smelling drinks. Lesson learned. I'll ever have to blow up something, a mattress, and don't have an air pump or anything. It was that easy? That easy? And you just tie up the end? And wham bam, you have an inflatable chair, ma'am. What do you mean you don't want to spend the next 30 minutes manually blowing air into a little hole? My lungs could not handle that. She just like fanned the air in so effortlessly. Oh, she make it look too easy. What you have to do is take it, put the back leg in there. How to lock your classroom door. And this thing is solid, it's not going anywhere. And that took me, what, two seconds? That, that's not even locking the door. Oh, that's good. Right, so once again, here. Twist, and that's it. That's all it takes? Do the school doors not have locks on them? Why don't they have locks? Anyways, that's even better than a lock. That's like a barricade. No zombies getting in. This is how you get clear water in 30 minutes. From dirt to drinkable. That is some nasty water. Turd water in there. <laughs> so what I've got here is a Puri bag and some PNG purifier of water packets. I'm gonna open that up. We'll put that inside. The bag. How do you make muddy water clean? I've always wanted to know. So now we want to so fold take those this packets. and seal it with this. Slosh it around, mix it in real good for five minutes. Then after five I minutes, don't trust it. you need to hang it up for 30 minutes. Wow. All right, so check this out. Um, see how it's so when does water go clean up? Oh, you literally see feeling. the dirt too much leaving dirt the water. I want to add more product and like see goofy. just how much more dirt is in here. Obviously, and then you just let the dirt out. <laughs> Freaking mud. How many times you gotta do this? Oh, Look it's at how turning much clear. More it cleaned out with Bro. the second treatment there. Amazing it's, product. It's looking real good. The bag of water literally took a dump. I can tell you that water is cleaner than the ice that my freezer makes. Does it taste like clean water or is there like a faint doo doo essence? How did you know? How did you know it was a fake? Apparently this has been happening in stores where criminals will take a fake keypad and then put it over the real one to steal your credit card information. And it looks just like the real one. I only use Apple Pay, so am I safe? If you're traveling and you're staying at a hotel or Airbnb, watch out for these items because they could have hidden cameras in them. You can literally Google hidden camera and they will have clocks that have a hidden camera, teddy bears, alarm clocks can have hidden cameras, smoke detectors, even the Blu-ray players. When I go to an Airbnb, the first thing I do is look for cameras. And the easiest way to do it is just turn off all the lights in the room, make sure the house is pitch black, easier to do this at night, and just take your phone light and just like shine it at suspicious objects. He told me he'd leave me alone if I took a shot with him. Oh, you know something's in that drink. Oh, that was good. That was good. The way she just like, did you see that? The way she just tossed it like, I took the shot, all right? Imagine standing right behind her and you just... Did you just? I mean, better safe than sorry. To make sure nobody steals your bag while you are grocery shopping, take the child safety belt and buckle in your bag. So if anybody tries to snatch it, they gonna have to take the whole cart with them. I keep my bag on me, but I get it. Some people's bags are like heavy and you wanna like put it down. So yeah, good idea. Tell your mom. I'll ever break your keys into the lock. I can feel it bending, it's gonna break. I need to stop. You're supposed to just take a magnet and it pulls the key out, but now your key's broken. How will you unlock your master lock? Things home invaders don't want you to have by your bed. Home invaders punch in the air right now. They definitely don't want you to have a weapon or a flashlight, a charged phone that you can call help with. Oh no. I mean, what kind of psychopath goes to sleep with 5% battery and then wakes up with a dead phone? Mm. Your car keys that have a fob to alert your neighbors you need help. Wow, I would have never thought they needed help. I'd just be like, oh, who woke me up with their car alarm? Who breaking into my neighbor's car? That's their problem. I thought burglars usually break in during the day when everybody's at work. What if you work from home? Y'all gotta be real quiet to break in at night. Here is an easy safety hack you can use when traveling with kids. Place transparent band-aids over all your outlets. 
This may help with temporary childproofing during your short stay. I forgot, kids have a wild obsession with like putting things in electrical outlets. Like whether it's their finger, their tongue, their, I don't know, what do babies got? So if you're traveling to a place with electrical outlets, not very child friendly, so just put band-aids over them. If you wanna charge your phone, undo the band-aid. I don't have small children, so I will not be needing this hack. You can repair a broken broom by using the neck of a bottle. Oh, you gotta bring out the power tools for this one. Wait, so if the broom is broken, it works? You use the top of a bottle and then the bottle cap, screw them in, and then just twist on the broom head like it's a bottle of Gatorade. Is that easy? Summertime hack. If your fan on full speed is just not cool enough, take some frozen water bottles, tape them to the back of your fan, and it'll start blowing icy cold water. Another way to get clean water. Take a water bottle, cloth, put a rubber band over it. I mean, I don't have a cloth. I don't have charcoal either. Sand, stones, what are we out in the wild? I gotta farm for materials in real life and then pour your filthy, dirty, musty, crusty water. A natural filter. I've seen this so many times and I feel like it works. It just takes a very long time to filter. All them layers of sand. I'm gonna be watching water drip for the next 24 hours to have half a glass full. You can create a fishing line at home in an emergency to catch food. You need dental floss and an unused tampon. I mean, what if it was used? Would the fish be biting? They nasty, I feel like they would. There is this jewelry that can save your life. It's basically like a blinged out life alert. It looks like regular jewelry, but when you press the button, it alerts your emergency contact of your location and sends it to them so they know where you are. What if you like accidentally press it? I feel like I'd be like rolling around in my bed and just like, oops. Accidentally calling the cops. Y'all ever run out of gas in the middle of nowhere and then you gotta like walk to a gas station and you're like, oh no, $12.99 to buy one of these? No, 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 no. You can put gas in any old jug and then pour it into your car hole. This is if your car is stranded out in the middle of nowhere. I've run out of gas one time, but luckily it was right when I pulled into the gas station. So we just have to like push it to the pump. Great success. Good evening, boy, well afternoon, isn't it? Anyway, I was thinking about something that I do all the time and I sound a bit daft, so you know, I never made a video about it, but however, it might help you out. If you're in the bath and you wanna watch something on your phone, or like when I tan, I wanna watch stuff on my phone, but it has been known for people to hack into your phone and look at you through your camera, and I don't know about you, but I am very paranoid about that. I think this is an Android problem. If somebody been spying on me through my phone, what can I do? We're basically besties. Like, great, another thing I should be paranoid about. So get like a thicker scrunchie and then just put it on the top of your phone so it covers the camera make sure it is covering the camera and you're chill you're telling me to put a scrunchie on my phone what if i have to unlock it i have face id for everything unfortunately they took away the fingerprint you know i have this theory every time i like log into my phone they take like a scan of my face and they have like a database of everybody's face that has ever logged into a phone and what will i do go back to a flip phone Safety tips that everyone should know about. A firefighter said sleep with your door shut at night. It'll help prevent fire spreads, smoke inhalation, and be able to crawl blindfolded out of every room in your house. Let's just hope my house doesn't set on fire. Do not put objects in the driver's foot space. Especially water bottles. Like if a water bottle accidentally goes by the driver's foot, it can go under the brake pedal. This has happened to me before. And I was trying to brake. I was like, why are my brakes working? And the water bottle was right behind the brakes. And so I was like, like reach in and grab it real fast so I can like break the car. Nothing is allowed in the driver's foot space except feet. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know what you learned today. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.